What up, what up, what up? We're back with a Fortnite. Trying this game out. This is probably about my oh, 30th hour in. If so, as you can tell, I collected a few things. I'm over here in Plankerton now. I was in, what is that other city? Stonewood. Uh, I just completed all those damn missions and now we're here. It, the game is kind of fun. It, it really is. I mean, there's a lot of little different things you can do, like the, you know, heroes, squad bonuses. These give you a little extra bonus. Like I have a support bonus, it's shielded, and then ammo recovery, which is actually useless for me. So, moving on. Let's see what other skills I could possibly fucking get. Because, what is this one? Uh, cause the, nope. Uh, nope. Pre-planning. Four fucking percent. Oh my fucking god, really? Four? Four fucking percent? Jesus Christ, that's like everything. Like, oh my fuck. It's like 15 percent for melee damage. Uh, no. Uh, so, I guess those are my skills. Let's check that out. Probably should be upgraded. Yeah, this will probably get her up to. What the fuck? Okay, it's not just pros, but it's I'll like get her up to nine. Oh my god, that points. So, yeah, you know. Why did I do that? Really don't know. Moving on. Uh, armory. Let's see what weapons can I upgrade right now. I think I can upgrade this one. I haven't never. No, I'm saving that. Or I think I'm saving it for this revolver. Yep. I need the pure raindrops or pure drops of rain. Either way, I'll go for like that right now. Um, anything else I need to do? Research. I have 1,800 points. These are all 1,600. Holy fuck! So let's just go back to tier one. Unlock the final person for this game. So let's do that. Right. There we go. Now I have an additional person I can uh, put on this other squad. My ENT driver. Let's see. Who shall I put? Okay, I guess I'm going to have to stick with this person. Okay. My power score really didn't go up that much. Oh, well, I should upgrade those guys at some time. But oh, what all these little things are, they boost your little, you see that little lightning bolt with the 19 next to it? That's what it boosts, and uh, pretty much it's your battle score or battle rank or some shit like that. I don't know, but that's how you get into some of these harder things like this. Recommended power of recommended power of 40 19, 19. Okay, this one has the rain the pure drops of rain. But do I really want to rest it? Oh, I sound like an asshole, but guess what? Let's do it! Let's do it! The side of it being a little repetitive at times, well, yeah, more than just a little bit. It's still a fun game. Up until the point that you get an asshole fucking person that starts off a mission or starts off the end of the mission without anyone else being ready. You just want to fucking kill them. Honestly, that's the best way you, you possibly think of it. You just want to fucking murder them. Because it annoys the ever living shit out of you. Um, do I need to change my gadgets? I have. Oh, no, no, not that one. Not that one. Um, do I want anything else? No. Okay, that's fine. Let's just do it. Let's do it.
Yeah, some of these loading times are fucking horrendous. Jesus Christ. You make you feel like you're playing old Xbox or PlayStation 1. Playing Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> oh, she's going to fucking hit me. But, yeah, no, all jokes aside, no, but the loading times kind of really sucks. But I need to remember that this is a closed beta, a paid beta. The game doesn't get officially released until 2018, in which it will be free to everyone. But, honestly, if you like the game, you if you want to support the, the people that created the game, Epic, Epic Games, the best thing you can really do is, you know, why not pay the little $39 for the, um, for the closed beta? You're, you know, the money's going towards them producing a better game. Right now, they're just taking into consideration everything that's going, that's wrong with the game. Any kind of bugs that we discover right now, we report them, they fix them. Um, there's been a shit ton of updates. Oh my fucking God. Since, um, the release date of the 21st of July. There have been probably about maybe 10, 12 updates. But honestly, the updates have fixed a lot of little problems that we've been dealing with. Uh, dealing with Let me turn down this. I don't need it. I got that loud. Um, right now, I'm just collecting resources. I need some more stone and obviously shit. Oh. Destroy these little things. Survivor in danger. Uh, I'm coming. Watch out. Okay, so I'm uh, need help. It's hey, help me out. Right but I think that's because I'm going to Bad news. Ouch. Yep, you got it. That? Ah, they got me. Yeah. Uh. Super useful. I can't. Let's see. Ooh, fire jump. This is what I need to request. He found a quest item and goes to everything. I don't even have to do that quest or have that quest after. Like, so that helps. That really does help. Nope. 
spotting. Fucking stop spotting her. Wow. Right, I'll kill you. Keep up the good work. Resources out, come and get it. So 
Look sharp. Oh shit, hold on, hold on, hold on. Everything's falling over. Here. What happened to your charger? Oh, alright. Uh, what am I seeing? There's nothing in here, just here. There's all What is that big ass? Oh, I guess. Survivor in danger! Get up. We're gonna be Captain Save a Hose. We got one. one. Wait. Please help! Survivor in danger! Oh, this little machine right there. Trouble at our fort! 
don't know if there he does something. I know it's a lot to ask. I really can't leave without it. Uh, Check your map for the location of the med kit. Show it on the fucking map. You don't see it. Fat boy. <laughs> oh, the fat man okay. is down. Points, holy shit. 
comment on one of my other videos. Nope. No bully, just somebody that will be here for the I'm assuming uh, that no, is out there. Thing to the other guy that kept commenting about how he steals $500 of shit a day from Walmart. Okay, I know this is off topic, but who's gonna fucking brag about them stealing? Worth the fucking merchandise. Really? I mean, is that like some huge accomplishment? Is does that mean you're God among among men? You're uh, you know the chief thief of um, you know some underground facility that's all about you know you know stealing shit and fucking reselling. I I I, I don't know. I don't understand what kind of fucking title that gives you for being a thief. I don't understand how that makes you fucking such a great fucking person. But it's fucking hilarious to read some of these comments on, uh, on some of my videos, man. These people. I mean. Come on. Let's just brag. I mean, oh, of course they're going to be anonymous. They're not going to really put their fucking name onto their YouTube account. But I'm pretty sure with enough um, searching... You can probably find out exactly who it is and if they're just one of those little kids hiding in a basement somewhere talking about how, oh, I steal $500 worth of shit from Walmart daily, you know, just trying to give himself some street cred while, you know, sleeping in his mom's fucking basement. I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I just choose to fucking laugh at some of these comments. The only ones that usually just remove are the ones that are, you know, are about racism. Even if it's not about African Americans or anything like that, it, it, it's racism. I don't, I don't stand by it. I fucking hate it. It's retarded. So, you know, racism I, I remove, but all this other shit talking to one person or another, I leave that stuff because I'm pretty sure you guys probably find it hilarious too. little kid bragging about him stealing $500 worth of shit from Walmart daily. It's like, wait, hold on. You steal $500 worth of shit from Walmart daily. Alright. I, I, I'm trying to really understand what kind of accomplishment this is. Because one, I'm sure your fucking picture is all over the fucking place. Because, you know, they don't always stop everyone. Sometimes they literally can't get to them. But... I'm pretty sure they have your picture and you have they have you up for a bolo and sooner or later you're gonna have the sheriff sitting there knocking at your door saying, Hey, what's up? Let me holler at you real quick. So I mean if it's legit and this guy is really, you know, stealing five hundred dollars worth of shit from Walmart daily, you know, it's only a matter of time. Nobody's untouchable. No matter what you fucking want to believe, nobody is untouchable. They will get you, they will prosecute you, and you're probably going to be getting ass raped in jail somewhere. So, you know, continue with that life if you want to do it, man. More power to you, you know. Maybe you'll find your true love over there in the pen. But back to the game. For Fortnite. Um, I was just trying to do a little mission right now to show off a little bit more about what the game like, what the game is like. Is the game really worth buying? I mean, if you're gonna support the the Epic Games, yeah. But um, if you're just interested in the gameplay, you just think it's kind of fun, you know, maybe not an all-time type of game where you know you play it once a day or once every couple of days for an hour or so with your, your buddies i mean if it's something like that to you then no don't don't buy it just wait for the free version and then from there you can always upgrade always upgrade and the upgraded packages literally include stuff like exclusive found, uh, founders loop um, pinata packs um 12 daily loop piano uh uh, piano. <laughs> what the fuck? Pinata packs. Ex 
exclusive in-game banner icons, uh, XP boost, giftable XP boost for friends, um, extra account uh, inv uh, inventory slots. By the way, you get a lot of them anyways. You start off with like probably about 50. And then, I mean, if you go through the research things, you usually you get five here, 10 there, five more here. I mean, I think I'm up to 80 inventory slots just from, um, you know, playing the game. So the extra 50, I mean, again, a lot of the time you're using a lot of the fucking shit anyway to build traps and make weapons and whatnot. So do you really need it? Not so much unless you're a hoarder. But um, yeah, no. Two exclusive defenders, uh, maybe good. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. The cool thing, I guess, is you get a digital standard edition for a friend and then you get your exclusive founder's uh, chat channel. Um, I've been playing this game, like I said, for probably probably about 30 hours now, and um, no one really chats. No one really uses the mic. No one uses the little in-game chat box. No one really uses a lot of that. So, you know, the exclusive founder's uh, chat channel, maybe not the greatest thing in the world because, I mean, why even chat when you have, you know, party chat? Literally, you can do a regular ass fucking mic party chat, and it's fine. I mean, that is so fucking common nowadays for, you know, 29 bucks. That's the upgrade from your regular standard edition to a deluxe super, a deluxe, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry, this is deluxe to super deluxe. This is deluxe to the limited edition upgrade, which is $89, which includes eight exclusive founder loot, uh, pinata packs, 48 daily uh, loot, shit, uh, 10 immediate loot piano, uh, piano. Why the fuck does it piano? The, 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 I can't even fucking say the word. Pinata, pinata packs, pinata packs. Why the fuck is that? Oh, why am I having so much trouble with that? Exclusive in game banner icons, you get 10 of them. 30 XP boosts, uh, 30 giftable, 150 inventory slots, you know, more other shit. You get a legendary hero. Oh, you get two. You get one epic exclusive weapon. Um, not the greatest thing. 10 extra backpack inventory slots. I mean, so you have 150 plus, you get another 10. Uh, huh. Yeah, not the greatest thing in the world, all right? And just to show you guys, I mean, for inventory slot, like, here's another backpack size 5. Backpack size 5, if I'm not mistaken, is a few in here that are also here. Backpack size 5. Um, I think this one, there's another one down here. Yep. Backpack size 5. So you don't really necessarily need that. Maybe early on, but even then, you don't get that many items where you need so much fucking space. You don't. Uh, skill tree. I mean, there's all these fucking skills and shit. That's actually cool. And that's just skill tree two. This is three. And here's four. I mean, you have a lot to do on it. But what I'm noticing, I may be too early. It may be too early to really say this, but there are things that you're not even allowed to really buy yet. Like, let me get over here. Because the, the content isn't even complete yet. Oh, oh, so now, okay. So now I can buy these three. Oh, well, you know, I can buy this one. And then these two don't have, um... They don't have a quest yet. They don't have anything, any kind of requirements just yet. But it's coming. So, I mean, the game is still in its development stage. Until then, um... It's a fun game. It's not one of those games that um, I would really dog at too much. But I do have a lot of fun with this game. What is this? Headshots. Uh, magazine size. Magazine size. You know what? Let's just upgrade this one. Let's just use all my goddamn points. Fuck it. Because I don't think I'll be able to... Uh, Huh. Oh yeah, the other thing you can do, when you start having way too much inventory space, uh, you can recycle shit. 
fit. I'm sorry for recycle. I don't need those. I don't need that one. Reload, max durability. Um, no, I don't care for nature. I'm not going to sit there and wait for that one. So, moving on. Um, legendary trap. Okay, now I can just get rid of this shit. Don't need it. So, now I have additional um, XP. Oh. I didn't realize I didn't have one. Oops. <laughs> That's my bad. <laughs> Can I upgrade this one? Can I evolve it? No. Oops. So, I can just re recycle this one. I get 10,000 XP back. Fuck it. I think I lose a little bit, but it's fine. But what else am I seeing? Is there anything else that I need to really cover on this? Oh, you got the expeditions, which I was doing in the beginning of this video. I'm sorry about the audio, but, you know, loud environment finally was able to do it so um, moving over squad I talked about map I didn't really go over I just showed that I'm inside Plankerton now I used to be in um, Stonewood let's just show you what Stonewood really looks like you got all these quests that you can still do still you know little things you can do to help people out Shield power level six. I don't know if I can upgrade it. It doesn't give me the option to really upgrade my shield power. But who knows? Maybe later on. I can have all these other little things I can do to help people out. And if I choose to just help people out with random um, quests, I get an extra 20% bonus XP. Oh, speaking of which, let me go back to that bonus XP. So, everyone gets these little bonus XP when you order the game or you take advantage of the close beta so I have 19 XP boosts I can use for myself and I have 21 I can give to friends as um, soon as I join any kind of game I have the option to activate XP boosts to anyone inside the party it helps them out it boosts their shit it boosts my shit it helps everyone out I think I've been in one game when someone actually used their boost on me but it really doesn't, they don't really, they don't really help out the boost too much. I mean, they don't really help boost people out. But you can see, look at this, um, the V-Bucks. The V-Bucks, they give you out a bunch of these V-Bucks. So the V-Bucks, buy um, the upgraded llamas or these packs. Do not buy these packs. That is a waste of fucking money. Just get the regular upgraded llama packs. These ones, um get six items but for 350 which you get five items from this one uh, yeah usually five items you get four regular items and you get a founders um, the founders or launch event llama and after you get a hundred you get another little llama that gives you like another nine items so I, honestly I think this is better plus this one upgrades it has a really good chance of upgrading to a silver or a gold and the silver or gold really, um, you know, I've gotten the gold maybe three times in the, in the time I played this game. And um, the gold, you are guaranteed at least two legendary um, I've gotten legendary survivors and legendary fucking um, survivors. I have I think I got one legendary hero and I got two legendary, one legendary weapon and one legendary trap. I mean, it, it helps out a lot. They're actually really fucking cool things, but you know, these even upgrade, but these are the free ones. Um, 
what I've been hearing is these don't upgrade. These don't upgrade. Oh, that. Stop it! So, I mean... I guess you have a chance to get a legendary on these without them upgrading, but... You know what? I'd rather just take my chances with this. Fuck it. I'll have fun with this. Okay, how much? I have enough. Oh, I didn't realize I had enough to buy one. Ooh, neat pitchfork. Um, that's not a pitchfork, bruh. So let's, uh, let's open this. All right, up. let's do this. Yeah, take it on home. So you get four items, plus you get the founder's um, points. And then after, you know, so many of those founder's coins, you could open up a thing. And for 350 you can buy three of these goddamn llamas. And get you know 30 of those uh, event things. I mean, it, it, honestly, it's better. You better bang for your buck if you want. Um, am I missing anything else? Oh, let me just update this real quick. I keep looking at it. Back out. I think I pretty much covered a lot of this little about this game. I'll be posting some more videos about it. I think I'll include some little clips from prior to this. But um, until then, you know. I'm oh, sorry, I got a text message. So, you know, until the next time, you guys, you know. If you like my videos remember to like and subscribe it really helps out and um, I'm sorry about the delay between videos I just got so many things going on and I'm always busy uh, I have a little project I'm doing right now um, maybe I'll post a little video about it but I started uh, rebuilding a, uh, a, a toy hauler I got for free it was off a offer up I thought it was awesome I had the truck to pick it up so I went grabbed it brought it home and I'm doing the flooring uh, re, um, now I'm going to do the process of doing the walls, putting in insulation, installing an AC unit, as well as uh, getting the generator and everything going on it. It's a cool little project, so I've been doing that as well, so maybe I do a little highlights or maybe just uh, post up something like that on my Twitch page. So, um, you know, I'll keep you guys updated on that. Until next time, you guys, have a fun one, all right?